John, the Rev, uh, so many names, so many uh, aspects to you, sir. I'm a multifaceted individual. And now here today, of course, at Liverpool, uh, South City, with Mongrel. Mongrel, yeah, a little uh, kind of hip-hop dub political side project for me while I was kind of a bit fed up. Just did that. Yeah, yeah where, did, where did it come from? Because, I mean, you've got is it a pretty cool crew with you this yeah, evening. Yeah, Drew from Baby Shambles and Andy from The Monkeys and then um, Loki, Paris mm. One. It's a bit of a mixture, all dubbed up by Adrian Sherwood. So, yeah, it's, it's got um, kind of a bit of flavour, you know, and it's yeah. saying something as well. So, yeah, we have a lot of fun doing it. It's good, man. Yeah, what made you kind of, kind of, you know, not take a side step, but kind of, you know, open up new channels and move in a little bit of a different direction? I've always been like that, really. I don't really want everybody rooted to just doing one thing, you know what I mean? I can do whatever I want. And I've mm. got like, my little instigate debate website where we're getting kids to go and interview people and stuff. So, you know, there's, there's like a lot of stuff happening. It's good. Yeah, I mean, we're doing kind of, you know, what we're doing today, you know, the DIY revolution. Mm. It's all about, you know, the fans, the people that are going to be actually mm. watching you mm. this evening, coming to the festival, actually videoing, just like we are, and actually telling us who they think the next hottest big thing is, who we should be looking out for, and what they oh. think of your performance as well as many others. Well, they'll be raving about it, won't they? <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, you said you've got a website where you're getting kids to go and do interviews and stuff. It's called uh, Instigate Debate, and the premise of it is that... Um, Basically, because there's no political discussion of any of the issues that really matter in society, because everyone's like obsessed with our orange Chelsea Davies looks today or whatever, yeah. um, we decided to go and ask loads of celebrities and famous people who we knew proper questions. And then we said to the kids out there, go and ask the kids questions on your mobile phone and um, ask them proper questions. Yeah. And, you know, your local MP, celebrities, and we'll come and play a gig in your house. And it's like kicking off massively. We've been asked to give a speech to the Nobel Prize Symposium. And we're going to sort of student unions and stuff. So, uh, in lots of ways, I reckon it's like the new punk. You know what I'm saying? So, people ought to really get behind it. I think it's a cool thing. It is a real cool thing. I was at uh, the British Library, actually, did an exhibition a little while ago. And they were saying that more people vote in an episode of X Factor that vote in the general election. There you okay. go. Didn't know if you knew that's that fair. fact. No, well, listen, that's, that is the problem, isn't it? You know what I mean? They, they think like, um, who would it? Would it John Lennon? Would it your boy, isn't it? John Lennon in Liverpool, he said... Uh, they help you with religion and sex and TV, and that's the thing. They're trying to keep people stupid to, to kind of divert their attention from the fact that they're bending everybody over, do you know what mm. I'm saying? But we want to put a stop to that. And also, like, maybe even get kids interviewing some of these newspapers who print bile and lies and rubbish, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's really interesting. I mean, do you find that we were actually talking earlier today and saying, you know, music was um, about breaking uh, boundaries, you know, people become icons, and people looked up to them because they were paving the way. And generally now, there's not a lot of boundaries. So do you think that's how we're going to do it? We're going to kind of do it on a political movement? Well, kind yeah, of? I think so. Well, it, it should be like that. The problem is, is that obviously major companies and the media and stuff aren't inclined to want it to be like that. But, you know, I've never shied away from saying what I think. Mm. And I've had a lot of criticism for doing it. But ultimately, at least when people listen to what I'm saying, at least it means something. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Rather than like, hello, where the Saturdays we look pretty by a single. You know what I mean? Whatever. Yeah, it's really interesting that you say this because Liverpool Sound City um, associated with Karma Charity, that's all of, you know, their, their tagline really, and I'm an ambassador for the charity, is being silent isn't being strong. And it's all about men actually expressing themselves, talking about the hard times and kind of sharing those times with other men. Oh, what do you think about that? Do you think, think that's, that's a good I idea? I think that's wicked, yeah, because we're, us men are very bad at not only showing us feelings, but expressing um, any kind of sentiments about the world or whatever you know what i mean men even just society in general but men especially you know just think getting drunks like better than like, like a release isn't it yeah, yeah yeah of course it is and i'm i'm half been like in, in past but you know there's new singles called silence is talking oh that's we should talk about this you know what? Camera, the single brilliant. after that says i can't talk to you till i've had a few there's a theme there isn't there there is indefinitely you know a saying? theme yeah. i mean have you got any kind of you know words of advice really for kind of musicians that are starting out i mean lots of them are going to be watching you this evening going i want to be up there um, next year i would think ignore the music industry completely do what you're doing get a local fan base don't sign a record deal till you've got a big fan base be real, ignore all thoughts of getting signed or doing anything to get yourself signed or network, you know, like that. If you're spending time doing things like that, you're not writing songs or practicing, which is what you should do, you know. And you've only got to look at all great bands Liverpool's produced over, over all years to, to show that, like, you know, there's kids around in Liverpool and in the rest of the country, you know, can do it and stuff. So, yeah, it's good. There are some good bands. There are some good, talented people around, you know, but it's just finding them because... Um, 
the media for us of kind of generic indie, why indie bands, doesn't it? You know yeah, saying? I mean, we was looking at the programme together earlier. Anyone that you're going to be kind of maybe going to look at over the next couple of days, if you can? Um, yeah, well, man, checking Rascals out. I know them lads. Mm. Uh, apparently, drummer's hurt his foot, so Echo and the Bunnymen's drummer standing in for him. But oh, there you go, an exclusive for you, folks. <laughs> there you go. Um, so, yeah, I might check them out. Um, Shame I'm not going to be here, actually. I don't mind Zutons as well, because I like yeah. him. Oh, he's a nut to him, he's a great bloke in him. I like him. So, yeah, man, it looks like a good lineup. It looks like a kind of varied and interesting lineup. It's going to be good, but where are you going? What's up for you? I mean, you've got so many things going on. Where can um, people find out your movements? We can find out my movements by checking Revo out. Wherever Revo is, I'll be there because Revo is the party in Liverpool. I always have been whenever I've been here. So. There you go. It's been yeah. so nice to speak to you, it's and we're definitely going to put up the website and everything so people can get involved it's in your business. Instigatedebate.com, it's called. Thank you, Lorraine. No worries. What a legend. <laughs> oh, thank you.